Here we are with Peter Barley. We're making raw beef jerky, the best in the world. And so first, over here, we need to cut up our steaks. We cut them to be about a quarter inch thick. And because we're gonna be drying this at the raw setting, at uh, not over 110 in the dehydrator, I'm cutting them into pieces that are about inch and a half wide instead of this three inch piece um, will make it dry more evenly. In here, we have sweet and spicy peppers, onions, and salt. And we're just in water. So I took the spices and water, blend it up in the blender, and dumped it in. Yum. Okay. So you can see each piece of meat on the tray is about a quarter inch thick. I leave a little bit of room so that they're not touching that much. They do touch a little bit. And there's no sodium nitrate in this. Um, so these are, this is the fat and the fat will go bad first, but it also tastes the best. So when this jerky's finished, I'll eat the fat, the fatty pieces first right away or put them in the freezer. And then the pieces without as much fat, they'll last in my closet for the whole year. So here we are with the Excalibur, putting in the trays. Coming over to the setting. And here's the important part. Let's crank that timer on. It's gonna take like two days. And I'm turning the temperature to 110. So even now it says rising bread 110 and jerky and meats at 155, I'm still at 110, which I've done this many times. And it makes the best jerky. So here we are, I had to retire the old, um, the old Excalibur that I've had for years and years. It's been doing so good, but it wasn't big enough for all this jerky. So right now I'm using this Sep tree. Um, I really like it. Um, except for I, I noticed this is some quite flimsy stainless steel. This part right here, I feel like I'm gonna break it quickly, but I love how big it is. And here's our meat. You can see it's red in there. So I'd give it more time. And um, so in order to get it really dry, you can see it's still mushy, still mushy. And so I want it to be a bit more firm. So we'll check it out again later tonight and tomorrow morning. Hey family. So because we're not using any nitrates, you have to have a relationship with your meat. You need to smell it. Um, this is the best tasting jerky you can make. Um, you Like you see, it took 36 hours, 38 hours in the food dehydrator um, rather than six hours. Um, but yeah, it is the best tasting meat you can make, but you need to have a relationship with it. You need to, um, taste it. You need to, you need to keep smelling it, um, and make sure you do a jo good job taking care of it. Unlike a bunch of, um, chemicals like sodium nitrate, then you could, you know, just forget about it and maybe a mummy could eat it, um, you know, in a hundred years, but when you're making real food, you gotta know how to take care of real food. Again, keeping it in the freezer or um, keeping it in a cool, dark place. All of my food is kept in a cool, dark place. Everything like spices on the counter, if they're up higher on a shelf, they're going to go bad quicker. If they're down low on the ground, they're gonna stay a lot longer. And so taking care of food um, makes it better. So that's it for now. Okay, talk to you soon. All right, here we are. It's been 40 hours 
And uh, let's see how we're looking. To bring the camera closer to listen to this. So it's making a nice crispy sound. And it also has some nice chew. So I'm gonna call this done. And here we go, I'm gonna take it out. Put it in my turkey bag. Um, this one looks really fatty and yummy. I kind of just want to eat that right now. Mm. So here's a piece with some extra fat. So I'm putting that in there. Here's a piece with just a little bit of fat. So it's going in this bag. This bag is the bag that is going to stay really good in my cupboard for months. And the extra fat is going to taste better, but that um, the fat can hold water against the meat. So how can we tell if the meat is good or bad? Well, if it tastes rotten or tastes like mold or you see mold on it, then it's bad. Um, this meat should taste sweet, sweet and spicy, and really good. This here is grass-fed beef and venison works just as good. You can use many different flavors, all different kinds of spices from your garden, from rosemary, oregano, garlic, honey, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, ginger, turmeric, so many good spices out there. You can be creative. This time I just used the peppers and onions that I grew in the garden and salt. Okay, well now that we've separated it, we got some big bags of meat. Pretty excited about this. And um, this bag right here is all with the extra fat. So I'm just gonna put that right into the freezer. Just gonna have it like that in the freezer and daily, daily I'll come in, I'll grab myself some pieces um, and bring it to on hikes and to the farm. And then this bag here, I separated out the fat and I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the dehydrator and I'm gonna dry it right now. You can hear, it makes a crisp sound and it snapped a little bit, but I want it to just snap everywhere. And um, so you'll see in the video of what I'm going for, but um, this jerky here um, would store great for many months in the back room in this turkey bag, just fine. Um, but I particularly really like it when tougher meat that doesn't have the fat in it, uh, when I put it in the in my mouth, it just goes and um, breaks down all into tiny little fibers. So I'm gonna be putting it back here on a dehydrator. The bag in the freezer, I'll probably eat it over the next six months. This is 40 hours after we started. Let's see. See, it still has a beautiful red color because the meat's raw. And it's really, it's really a lot drier here in that crisp on that thinner piece. And I'm gonna keep going because I'm going for like powdery dry for my backpacking food. Um, but yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Here we go with 60 hours. You can hear, it just, you can just see it breaks apart into pieces. And so I really love my meat like this. Uh, I'm not sure it might lose some nutrients when you cook it this long and like you've seen, it was ready to come off two days ago. But um, this is going to be my backpacking in my car. Totally don't need to worry about it for a year and a half. Beef jerky, it, it'll go down in grade after about 11 months or something. But excellent beef jerky. Giving thanks. Okay, all done with the dehydrator. Thank you. Happy day.